welcome to this distinguished lecture series of shaping engineering aspirations a timely initiative by mutut institute of technology and science kochan to inspire and engage young civil engineering aspirants this lecture is by mr g keshavachandran chief engineer dmrc at present working for the kochi metro rail project in kochan a civil engineer by profession with 35 years of experience he is a graduate from rec kurukshetra he joined the indian railways during his term he commissioned a range of prominent projects like the road over bridges and six lane bridges while working with the rail vikas nigam limited he was instrumental in implementing the rail connectivity from the international container terminal which was the longest railway bridge in india mr g keshavachandran gives us an insight on the scope in job opportunities for civil engineering aspirants and how colleges provide strong foundation in acquiring the fundamentals and practical knowledge about the subject a speaker g keshavachandran dear students children who are passing out of engineering children who are in the first to third year of engineering and children in the 11th and 12th standard who aspire to become engineers today the whole world is in a economic crisis due to a virus and a complete lockdown situation when we are able to come out of this crisis is yet to be answered dear children there is no reason for panic however india being a fast developing country will definitely come out of this crisis at the earliest we should be positive in our thinking and move forward to becoming what we aspire this is kesava chandran chief engineer delhi metro rail corporation working for the kochi metro corporation kochi metro rail project in kochi i passed out in 1984 from ni rec kurukshetra where the situation for securing a job was not very comfortable for civil engineers however managed to get a design engineers post in indian railways and started my career in 1985 after 35 years of service i have still in delhi metro corporation as the chief engineer earlier engineering used to have only four core branches that is mechanical electrical civil and electronics in the years to come the engineering has split into so many branches and we are unable to specify which is a core branch and which is a specialized branch however in today's era due to the computerization and digital world electronics and communication uh, uh, computer science engineering have overtaken the other core branches of engineering most of the jobs are computer science oriented and even mechanical and electrical engineers or civil engineers are moving their uh, career towards some it company which is not very comfortable for the engineers passing out as mechanical or civil or electrical engineers for example you can see today there is no real work of electrical or mechanical engineering as most of the industries large and small have become computerized for example an automobile workshop or a automobile factory these days the cars which are being manufactured do not have much of mechanical aspect in it everything is computerized and you take a vehicle to a garage they scan the vehicle for any defects and replace the spare part there is nothing like repairing a spare part a mechanical part and uh, replacing it so 
the role of mechanical engineers, electrical engineers have come down the line. But the case is not the same with civil engineers. Con considering the major infrastructure development projects taking place all over the country, civil engineers play a very important role in the development of the country. Without a civil engineer at site who can supervise the work, the no works can take place. There is no computer to take over the supervision of civil works in the day-to-day -day activity. Hence, civil engineers play uh, still play a major role in the development of the country and there is no reason for panic for civil engineers for uh, due to the computerization. However, it is felt that even electrical and mechanical engineering graduates who opt for IT jobs are not very comfortable in that particular field because of their exposure during their academic career which is much less than compared to a computer, uh, computer science engineer. Computer science engineers are always placed one step above the other engineers in their organization, which is not a good practice. Engineering colleges should now develop the core branches of engineering, that is civil, mechanical, and with more of computerization in their subjects, so that they are also equally capable of competing with the computer science engineers in the market. They can be placed in jobs concerning mechanical or electrical or civil in their respective fields. So there is, in, I, in, in fact, I, I can just quote a small reference. When I joined engineering, I was selected for electronics engineering, which was considered, to, even those days it was considered to be one of the most sophisticated and most difficult uh, branch where you can get an admission. But there was an option for a switchover after the first year. I realized that this computers or software or programming is not in my blood. So I straight away opted for civil engineering which I felt I could do better and today I do not regret for taking that decision because I am very comfortable and confident with what I am doing today. So students kindly do not fall into pressures from anyone to select a particular branch or considering the job prospects. The interest what you have in a particular subject is what takes you high. You force yourself to become a computer science engineer and you do not you shine in your job. The purpose of taking computer science is ruled out. So, dear students, always select a branch which is comfortable for you. Engineering colleges have to change the syllabus by inducting a minimum six months industrial training for the engineering students as is done for medicine where a one year ausagency is a must to get a degree in medicine. Similarly, engineering graduates also should face the industrial training where a lot of knowledge can be developed, a lot of practical knowledge can be developed which will definitely be a score for them to appear for interviews and do better in their jobs. It is not sufficient for a graduate engineer to have completed 15 days of industrial training which is the practice of today where a student goes to some institution and 
does a training might be for one day might be for five days might be for 15 days learns nothing and comes back with a certificate which is considered sufficient that practice should be ruled out it should be a compulsory subject where every engineering college should have a tie up with major industrial organizations let it be it let it be uh, automobile let it be construction let it be anything where the college students are sent trained for a period of 6 months and in fact an external or an internal assessment has to be done to ensure that the students have really attended the industrial training and uh, have learned so that they take it very seriously this is definitely going to help our engineers in coming up to a great extent today with the present scenario there are going to be lot of drawbacks in our um, job scene education scene the major have uh, defects or uh, things which might take place are uh, less of job opportunities there is a trend for lot of students to take gmat or gre or toefl or ielts or and go abroad for pursuing their higher education or finding jobs abroad which is definitely also going to be hit a lot with the with countries like america canada australia new zealand where most of these courses are held are also going to face an economical crunch so the situation for people who are planning to go abroad also will have its effects but india is not going to be uh, in uh, what do you call that india will definitely come up soon and the requirement of engineers will definitely be sufficient to cater to all the uh, passing out graduates from inside the inside the country what students can think of during this crisis is try for higher education like uh, go for mtech or pursue mba or there are so many other courses which can be pursued since whatever knowledge we are going to gain during this period is definitely going to give us results in the days to come so students so do not panic let's face the crisis we as engineers will definitely not be having any problem in finding a job the only uh, reason why we are having uh, job insecurity is due to the mushrooming of engineering coll colleges all over the country the number of engineers coming out are much more than what is required which was a policy decision which um, cannot be stopped now we will have to face the crisis and move forward kindly understand one thing that nothing is given to us in a silver spoon we never expected such a crisis and we would not have even dreamt of such a crisis in our entire life the whole scenario has changed in a period of 10 days and we are realizing what life is with all the money with all the facilities we are nowhere we don't have anything the situation has been taken over by a virus which can turn the entire uh, situation in the world so let's take it positive let's fight against the virus let's come out of this situation and let's be positive and be safe thank you students for uh, listening to this small lecture and once again before closing down i will say that there is no reason for panic let's take it very cool and move forward to making india better thank you